Hey and welcome to another FM video. Today I wanted to show you how I've been using the new player scoring system app that I covered in a video a couple of days ago. My main save needs a few players so I'll do the player recruitment here and along the way show you how I've been using the app. Let's get into it. Okay so my main save this year is a pentagon and you can see from the right hand side of this screen how I've been getting on. I started off in Indonesia, I then got a job in the third division of Japan I've been promoted a couple of times and now I'm in J League Division 1. I said I'd drop into my Pentagon save for interesting moments. I think what's interesting at the moment is just showing how to use the new app. So this is the app. It's a website. And if you go to the address at the top here, which is linked in the description, you can use this app now. What I like to do is score the players in the same screen on my computer as a table just showing my squad. So what I simply do is arrange my windows like this. Uh, at the bottom is the squad of my team here, Ganari Tatori in Japan. And then at the top is a window that I can use to score players. And you can see from the squad view at the bottom that I think there are three gaps in the squad at the moment. One here where we're lacking in trained at club players. That's what TAC means on this table. And then we're lacking depth at centre back and defensive midfield. More specifically, if you look at the tactic that I use, we're lacking depth in ball playing defender on defend and Sukundo Valente on attack. So the first thing I'll do is go to the player search screen and look for trained at club players. So I've got a filter for that. It simply says homegrown is trained at club. It says 15 found, but I'll just select the players who are slightly interested. So I need to take these players and these attribute data out of here. So I just click anywhere in here, uh, control A, control P on PC or command A, command P on Mac put it somewhere where I know it will go. Then here into the app, we just choose the file that we've just created. And I need to just tell the app which role, I just need to do this the first time I use it. I'm just doing it here to, uh, to show you how to do it, but, but they will then stick in a, in a cookie. So you won't have to uh, do this every time. It's just the first time you set it up. So we've got a wing back on support, ball playing defender on defense, can do on attack. What you'll also see is it will Remember the order in which I've put them in. So you can put the goalkeeper in first and then the defenders, then the midfielder, and then the attacker and so on. Uh, so do that, click upload. And then these are the players now here that we saw in Football Manager as trained at club players, but just in this different format with scores over here for sweeper, keeper, defend, SKD, wing back on support, WBS and so on. There's ball playing defender on defend. Can do on attack and an advance forward on attack. And all I simply can do here is just flick through and see if any of these players are any good. Uh, we've got a 9.9 .9 here. Um, we've got 9, we've got 9.8, and we've got 12.5. And if you look, that's the same player for, for all of them. And that's Amori, which is the name I remember. Amori was in our team in the lower leagues of Japanese football. So here's Amori. He used to play for us in the third and second division. The board sold him. I didn't want them to. It's one of those situations where the board overrules you. Uh, and we can now loan him back. And he'll be a decent forward in our team. Not amazing, but depth. So just to show how we can compare Amori back against our squad. When I looked at our forwards here, they've already got scores. But I calculated the scores using exactly the same method. So if I just open a second tab of the scoring system, what I should find is that the roles are all in place. And now I can just repeat the same exercise, but for my squad find my squad and then exactly the same process of finding the correct view and bringing the data out, putting any old file name in and then going back to the scoring system and just selecting the most recent file and open. And we should find when we upload it that it's our squad. And if I go to advance forward, you can see what we've got. We've got Almeida 13.8, Yokohama 13.1, Nitta 12.4 and Horikiri 12.2. They're fairly similar players, different, uh, similar level. Uh, Horikiri is slightly faster and Amori is slightly better in the air, but players that are at about the same level. So if we can loan Amori in uh, as a trained at club player, that looks like a sensible signing. Okay, so that's the trained at club sorted. And now we just need to see if we can find a non-foreign uh, centre-back and defensive midfielder to provide some additional depth. There are some nations which are treated as non-foreign. So when we're looking for a player here for depth and we know it has to be a domestic player, 
it isn't just a Japanese player. We can also look for Thai, Vietnam, Vietnam Myanmar, Cambodia, etc. So over here in the player search screen, these are the countries that count as non-foreign. And then we've just simply said acceleration and pace more than 11. And then a player that is slightly interested in joining us. OK, so now we've got 955 players that don't count as foreign uh, and are interested in joining us. And we need depth at ball playing defender on defend. So let's start with that one. And we've got some players here that we can shortlist. So we've got this guy, Terashima, this guy, Nishi. I think this Yamada guy is a different position. I think we'll leave that for now. Also at five foot nine, I'm not sure. I know the jumping reach um, is is okay, but the for, by J-League standards, but I think we'll leave that guy. We'll go for Terashima, Nishio, um, and that's probably it actually. So let's put those two onto a shortlist. And then just to remind myself on the Secundo Vlante on attack, I think we've got uh, 11.7 and 12.3 as the starters. So anything, anything like that would be great for depth. And here's a couple more. Chiba, 50, 11.5. Aaron Moore, oh, he's a right, right back. Yamada, that's the same guy from before. I think Chiba is probably the one that we'd target if we can. Just going back to the rules, we've got until the 1st of April for the transfer window to close and it's February. So we've got plenty of time. If these guys don't work out, then we can just keep waiting until the deadline, see if any other players are willing to join us. Okay, first signing to complete, Amori is the trained at club guy who can play up front, provide useful depth, and maybe even break back into the first team. That's good news. Second one, Terashima. This is one of the sense backs we looked at. He's available on loan. Fairly simple decision. Let's just go with him, bring him in. Okay, so the scouts reports are back. Uh, we no longer need a sense back because we've taken one on loan. And we've got a couple of defence midfielders. Uh, the thing I do notice when I look at the scout report, while this player is very interested in coming on loan to us, the defence midfielder we found, his club isn't willing to loan him at the moment. So it's the 6th of March. We've got until the end of the month. I'm just going to roll forward a while and see if in a couple of weeks' time there is some different a different player maybe, or maybe this player is available for loan, whatever, but different options available. All right, so now we've got to the 22nd of March. So we've gone forward a bit in time. And I still haven't got that defensive midfielder depth I'm looking for. So I've just run the same search again, Secundo Valencia on attack. You get a few more players. You get Chiba, who's still there um, and is still available, but isn't available for loan. If you look at Chiba, you can see he's played six appearances in the league. And I think his club's going to keep him. The scout's view is he isn't that much better than the guy we've already got, Kuramata. And although the polygon does look a bit better, I'm not sure it makes sense to spend something like one and a half or two million on a guy like this. It wasn't really a clear upgrade to the squad. So going back to this, you can see a couple of other players. This guy, Matsuoka here, you can just see from this that his work rate's only nine and a half, which isn't what I'm looking for from a defensive midfielder. Just while I'm here, by the way, on the scoring system itself, we are making some small, uh, but we hope helpful quality of life improvements uh, over time as as we go with this and you can see on the columns for example if I wanted to I could move the columns around I think the defaults probably the best way to have it but you know each to their own and of course thank you to to Jason and Harrison the guys who've helped me to develop this because um, you know these small improvements we're making which we hope are sort of quality of life upgrades will help everybody that's using this uh, if you've got wider thoughts on what we might do to continue to develop this app, then obviously let me know either in the comments here or in the Twitter feed, which is linked at the top of the website here and is linked in the description. You know, moving down, you've got Yamada age 30 and then Murata age 19 and 11.1. It's not, it's not thrilling 11.1. If you just look at our squad, you'll see down here that Kuramata, who's the guy that he'll be depth to is 11.7. So 11.1, isn't going to be the main guy in our team. But looking at Morata, I think he looks all right. I and mean, you can see pace 13, stamina 14, work rate 15. Not particularly well-rounded if I just put him on Secundo Valente attack. You can see that he hasn't got the world's most amazing attribute, particularly for Division One level in Japan. And compared to Kuramata, who's the guy who's our starter in this position, you can see he's not as good, but we're looking for depth. All right, here we are. Let's see if, uh, let's see what a quarter of a million does. 900 active release fee but i think we'll just bid 250 and see what happens all right we've got a counter bid on murata which is 650 rising to 900 so if we want to 
bring this guy in, it's going to be at this more like this kind of level. I think I can do this level. I'm not sure I'm going to go much higher though. All right, I've offered 700, but with an additional 250, the guy makes 50 league appearances, which given that he's depth, I think it's debatable whether he will or he won't. So it looks like they've accepted that and we'll go forward from there. All right, it's deadline day, 11 hours to go. And Morata's agreed to sign 700,000 uh, up front with 250 if he plays 50 games for us. Let's see if he does or he doesn't. If he's got five star potential uh, compared to our club, if he does get opportunities off the bench and he does develop, he may be a guy that plays 50 appearances for us and he might not. So we'll see how that goes. I've made more inspiring signings uh, in, in my FM career, but this one's going to have to do. Ah, spoke too soon. Maybe it isn't. I clicked accept and then this came up. Murata deal is off. The player's failed his medical and the move will unfortunately not be authorised by the club. Well, we've got 10 hours to find some depth at defensive midfielder. All right, so back to the list in the app and beggars can't be choosers here. I've sourced it by Segundo Volante on attack and I'm just going to go around from top to bottom, I think. So Hudaka it is. He's not great, uh, but he's going to fill the gap. And just looking here at the league table, nine games gone, we are in touching distance of the leaders. So let's go through to the end of the season and see how this squad gets on. OK, so now we're at the end of the season and you'll see we've come fifth, which is treading water a little bit compared with last season. We did win something called the YBC Levan Cup, which is good. And if you look at my manager profile, you'll see that a combination of the cup win and getting my licenses is getting my reputation up to a decent level. Three stars is pretty good by Japanese standards. And now finally, I think will be enough to get me a bigger job when one comes up. So I'm waiting now for one of the bigger Japanese clubs or Korean clubs to have an opening and then I'm going to go for it. Fifth in the league is treading water fourth last year. It's still pretty good in the context of the resources for the club. If you look at the, the top clubs here in Japan, it's 20 million a year, 18, 14 we're still down at two and a half. So we've got quite a bit of waiting to do before we're operating that level. And this is a Pentagon save. So I want to get into one of those bigger clubs as soon as I can. So that's the next step for that. To update on the guys that we've brought in as depth for the squad. And Maury's had a pretty good season coming on off the bench as a sub. Considering he's trained at club, he's fine. And we are going to bring him in permanently. I've agreed a deal to do that for about 700,000, which is good. The other two, not much to say. Pretty boring depth. Anyway, I hope that was helpful on how to use the app. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Of course, as we continue to develop the app, I shall update here and I shall see you in the next one.